everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J, and in today's video, I'm going to be overviewing, and I did four different eye looks using the Halo Top X ColourPop collaboration, and this is the cutest collaboration that I have quite possibly seen all year so i knew i had to get it if you guys have never heard of halo top they are an ice cream brand and so when you see what is inside of this package i think that you are going to think it's super cute if you have not seen it online but here's what the entire set looks like i bought the entire kit from ColourPop's website it retailed for 38 dollars and in this launch they released four different sets and in each set it's a duo of their super shock eyeshadows so before i open it up let me give you guys a little bit more of an insight about this collection so this launched on july 19th and i ordered it that morning and i just got it on july 26th so it took a full week for it to come to me so i ordered it on a friday and i got it the following friday this of course is a limited edition launch but color pop is pretty good with keeping everything in stock so if you want to get this it is currently still on their website so i bought the entire set it was 38 dollars and this is the box that the set came in and the packaging in my opinion is super cute it has like the ice cream dripping on the front it says hx color pop it says happy national ice cream month the sweetest way to celebrate is with our four new limited edition super shock bundles inspired by halo top and here's what it looks like is this not the cutest thing it looks like little pints of ice cream and i thought that this was super cute and every time i see halo ice cream in the grocery store now i'm gonna think about this collaboration because because it's just too cute not to. Like I said, I bought the entire kit. You do not have to buy this entire thing. You can buy them individually, duo by duo. They retail for $12 each, but by buying them all together, you are saving about $10 because if you bought them individually at $12 a piece, it would be $48. So buying them as a bundle is $38. So you save $10. So essentially, the way that I look at it, you kind of get one for free. The different sets are the mint chip duo, the rainbow swirl duo, the strawberry duo, and the birthday cake duo. And I think that they picked some really cute combinations for ice cream sets because I feel like these flavors embody ice cream. So for anyone who has never tried the Super Shock eyeshadows like myself, I want to show you guys what the packaging looks like. This is my first endeavor into the Super Shock eyeshadows. And here's what they look like. They come in a jar. You open them up, you screw it off. It doesn't pop open, which is really good because of the formulation of these. So here's an example of the formulation of one of the colors of one of the sets. This one is Extra Sprinkles. And as you guys can see, it almost looks like putty in the jar. And that's because it is a creamy, almost jelly type formula. These are really cool because they're not powders and they're not creams. It's a hybrid of both. It has that putty type formulation. So if you see like a crack in one, you can just press it down you can mold it back together so that's really cool you can also use these with your fingers or you can use these with a brush to apply but like I said it has that gel type formula so it's super soft if you use it with your fingers you can pick up that pigment really easily or if you're like me and you don't like to use your fingers to apply products you can use a brush to apply them I would recommend to use a flat shader type brush some of my favorites are the Mac 242 the older one that they discontinued or a brush that is similar to that I would even go a step further to say maybe go in with the silicone brush that's flat and you'll be able to apply that product on and lay it flat but you can use these wet or dry but I found that I was able to do a complete eye look without using any of them wet but also because of the formula you want to make sure that you are screwing the top completely on so you are not drying out your product this is more so of a cream than it is a powder so you want to make sure that it's on tight because if it's not the next time you come back to use it it'll be totally dried out and once these dry out they're done that's just a quick little tip for anybody who is interested and in not only these but they also make these in their line regularly so they have other colors that are not a part of this collection most of you all probably already know that but I'm just throwing it out there for anybody who doesn't like I said I did four different eye looks I did one look per each duo so I came up close like you guys like and I used other products in conjunction with these because each one is a duo so what I did was create a basis for the eye 
looks and use them in conjunction with these to create a complete eye look as you guys see i have on a complete eye look now if you all are interested in any of the details of any of the eye looks i will have everything listed down in the description box but i want to go ahead and jump into that and then stay tuned until the end and i will tell you all my final thoughts about these super shock eyeshadows enjoy so here's the look that we're doing using the mint chip duo so I'm first going to take a Sydney Grace eyeshadow in the color Relax. So I'm going to take this color right on top of my eyeshadow base back and forth with a fluffy brush. Next I'm going to go in with this green eyeshadow which is called Meadow. And I'm popping this color on my outer corner and then blending it up to the crease. So taking a Super Shock shadow, I'm going to go into the color Semi Sweet. On the area that I left blank, I'm going to pop this color on the lid. I was concerned if I was going to have to apply it with my finger, but the brush is allowing me to lay down the product really nicely. So I'm making sure to diffuse these two colors, the two colors that are on my lid, to make sure that there are no lines of demarcation. Next, I'm going in with the color Tassel. And I'm going to pop this on the inner corner. And I'm also going to drag that on the lower inner corner too, rim it around my eye. And then I'm going to go back with the color Relax on the rest of the lower lash line and drag it to the top. So here's my finished look using the Mint Chip Duo. This is the look that we're going to do with the Rainbow Swirl Duo. First for this look, I'm going to take this color which is Secret from the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. Go straight in with this color in the crease and blend it up. Next, I'm going in with the color Spanked. Let's take this color on my outer corner and blend it over. Next, I'm going in with the color Cream Sickle. And I'm going to take this all across the lid, almost like a wash, and continue to build it up. Actually, I'm going to go in with this color with my fingers and press it on and blend it. So I applied that all over. I wasn't able to get it to be completely opaque, but I'm just going to leave it as a wash. Dipping back into the palette, I'm going to take the color Crave and pop that on the inner corner. Pop it on the lower inner corner as well. Next, I'm going to go into the color Sherbert Day. So I'm going to go across the rest of the under eye with this color. Here's my finished look using the Rainbow Swirl Duo. Here's the look that we're doing with the Strawberry Duo. I'm taking the color Burning Desire from the Pat McGrath Bronze Temptation Palette. Let's dip into this and apply it in our crease back and forth. And when I say dip into this color, I mean lightly because a little bit goes a very long way. Same brush and I'm taking the color Corruption. Pat that on the outer corner, blend it up. Ooh, that color is so pretty. Next, I'm going to go in with the color Jam Out. And again, I'm using a brush and packing it on. Now I'm going to dip into the color Berry Sweet. And I'm going to pop that on the inner corner and blend it over. I'm really taking my time in building up this color because I want that white goldness to pop through. Now I'm dipping back into the color Corruption and go in with this color all across the rest of the lower lash line. And here's the finished look using the Strawberry Duo. So here's the look that I created using the Birthday Cake Duo. I'm going in with the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette and the color Teddy. Let's take this color in the crease and blend it out. So back and forth. Now I'm going to dip into the color Love Bite. And I am going to deposit this color on the outer corner. Use a swirling motion of not moving the brush. Next, I'm going to dip into the color Extra Sprinkles. I am going to pop that on the inner corner and bring it over. Next, I'm going to go in with the color By the Pound. In the space that I left open, I'm going to pop this color on there. Make sure to blend it next to that inner tear duct color. Make sure to blend it up. Make sure to blend it next to the outer corner color. And overall, just make sure that this color is blended. So that looks really pretty. I'm going to finish off the look and I'll be right back. 
And here's the finished look using the birthday cake duo. So I hope that you all enjoyed my video using the Halo Top X ColourPop collaboration because I definitely did. I really love this collaboration. I think it's super cute, but in a good way because I think all of the products were executed very beautifully. I love the theme of it. I love that these have a slight scent. They smell like ice cream. I think that that is such a fun touch because it's unexpected it's not overwhelming so you're not going to put it on your eyes and then it's going to be offensive or anything like that it's just a very subtle hint of an ice cream scent i got bars i think that pretty much all of them apply very nicely i did have an issue with one color out of all of the colors that i tried so the one color that i had an issue with is from the rainbow swirl duo and that one is in the color creamsicle i felt like this color just wasn't as pigmented as the others when i applied it on my lid i felt like it was separating and i really couldn't get a completely opaque look from it and i layered it and layered it and every time i put more it separated but i didn't feel that way about any of the other colors some of them are a little bit more sheer and that's okay because every color is not supposed to be you know super opaque just very pigmented some of them are nice washes of colors and so you can build them up you saw me in the demonstration I used my finger for maybe one of the colors but the others I used brushes and I got good results from them I love the color payoff I love that they have glitter in them but they're not messy so I didn't get any fallout from any of them and I created pretty eye looks in my opinion from all of them but I will say that my favorite duo is the rainbow swirl duo which is the one that I have on now just because I feel like these colors are super iridescent they almost have a holographic shift to it very slight but I think that this one is super pretty but I really like all of them and again I like the theme of this collection I think it's very cutesy but at the same time I feel comfortable as an adult using it because I can create beautiful eye looks and I know that it's an ice cream theme it's not necessarily too cute to where I feel like it's not age appropriate I think they did a good job with it and I definitely am going to forever associate Halo Top with ColourPop now so <laughs> let me know which eye look was your favorite and let me know if you picked up any of these down in the comments section. I look forward to reading you all's comments and I will check you all in my very next video, which will be super, super soon. And don't forget to stay posted for swatches because those are going to roll next. Smooches. Bye.